Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Call me like a cherry pony. Call me like a cherry pony. Your boy done switched up on you. Call me like a cherry pony. Wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys, look, if this is your very first time to this channel, run over there and subscribe for me. And after you subscribe, make sure that you hit that notification bell. It's right beside the word subscribe so that you will be notified each and every time that we upload a video. And then welcome to this great, 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 great family. Now that you're part of us, some things that we do, and we do them every single day because they help us grow. Those things are comment, comment, comment like a share and go look for the team. Comment like a share and go look for the team. Comment like a share and don't forget to comment like a share. Comment like a share. Comment like a share. Don't forget to comment like a share. Comment like a share. Comment like a share. Don't forget to don't forget to come like a share. Okay, y'all check it out. We're gonna pray. We're gonna answer the good days. Here we go. Hey man, how y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? How y'all doing on this good Sunday? Over here to the side. Big Ben is in the building, baby. Big Ben is here. Big Ben is here to help us out because we've been to get to eat. Let's see if he's not refreshing. Ah, he is. You guys, Big Ben has nice cold H2O in him today. Also, I got my lips hot sauce. If you like your bottle, look way up in the top of the screen box in blue. Hit that link and right there you can get your lips hot sauce. And your lips merge. Okay, you guys, today for the food. Baby, we have my favorite southern breakfast, baby. We have got us some chicken wings. They have got some homemade flour gravy on them, baby. We got us some rice and it's some sugar on it. I already put it on there, so y'all ain't got to sit in it. It's already on there. We got some eggs, scrambled eggs, some bacon, and some Mary B biscuits, baby. That's what we got. We got uh, us some um, Maple Grove Farms sugar-free uh, syrup. It is actually really, really tasty. Now, let's get to eating. Let's get eating. We're going to scrape for the biscuit first, y'all. Yes, sir. Ooh. Yes, I wanted this biscuit with this good. Ay, yes, Lord, Lord, Lord. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm. Y'all. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Ah. Mmm, 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 mmm. Couldn't wait to put that mirror bead in my mouth. I couldn't. I couldn't, y'all. I have some gravy back here on my right. I do. I couldn't wait to put the mirror beads in my mouth. I chose because this meal is a little heavy. I chose mm, the sugar free syrup, which is just as tasty. It's just a little thingy. It ain't thick like regular syrup is. Mmm. 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 Yes, sir. Mm, mm. So how y'all doing today? How y'all doing? Mm-hmm. On this good Sunday morning. How y'all doing? Mm. So I hope you guys, like I said, are doing fabulous. What would be the reason not to? You know, we done woke up. God done blessed us that much. Mm-hmm. And eggs are not ten dollars a dozen today. <laughs> they only six. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Y'all, what are these folks doing with this food? Mm-hmm. Yesterday, I was in the grocery store. Me and my husband, my daughter. We were browsing around and a very special person to me mm, asked me to eat chitlins and put in one more guinea. So I'm going to set aside today, y'all, where well, I ain't going nowhere to eat these chitlins for this person. Because y'all know I eat chitlins with hot. Because I am one person that has had chitlins who sport on their stomach before. And I know what it feel like. 
So I'm very, very careful with that because I've had this happen to me before. But moving right along, we were in the grocery store, y'all. And so I asked the grocer the, in the meat department, and he was like, well, I don't, I was looking for something else. And he was like, well, I don't have that. He said, but I do got them chitlins in you be looking for all the time. I said, they're probably $50 um, a bag, a bucket. And he said, no, they bought it. Man, I want to, I, I looked at that man like, are you stupid? You know what I mean? Who, baby, look. Let me tell you something. Mm. I remember back in the day, y'all, this is no lie. Mm. When you could buy a, uh, y'all be using chicken wing. Y'all see that? Let me get a bite of this right quick. Mm -hmm. I remember back in the day, y'all. Ooh, yes, sir. Mm. Mm -hmm. 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 Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's so good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's good. <clears throat> yeah, I remember back in the day. Honestly, when shit is. Ray <laughs> Shit is. What the cheapest thing in the entire market. Mm hmm For real. You could buy a 10 pound bucket of chicken back in the day. Mm-hmm. That whole 10 pound bucket would be like $3.99. No joke. Seriously. I remember. And then I remember when it did get a little higher, but it was still on about $6.99. You know something like that? It's just only been in the last couple of years where everybody seemed to. One of the stars. Three arms, two legs. Gucci, what is it, boy? Mm. I think in the last couple of years where everybody wants to charge three arms, two legs, and a half a nose nostril for chitters. Seriously. Hmm. I don't know what happened. But I can tell you that I'm not paying that. Mm-mm. Nope. Mm-mm. No, sir. Uh-uh. I had a Sunday dinner plan for y'all. But I decided I will come with a nice old country southern Sunday breakfast. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And everybody hear what you're saying. It's a typical Sunday morning breakfast in a southern home. Mm-hmm. Especially like if you went to church. You know, mama gonna get up and cook for the whole family. Mm-hmm. This is what you see. For sure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Are you little rabbit? I should put a little rabbit up here, y'all. My husband got one out in the freezer. Mm-hmm. Mm. But this is actually my favorite breakfast in the world. To be honest. To be honest with you. Mm-hmm. This is my favorite breakfast. Mm. Mm. The only thing that I'm gonna choose even close to this to be cooked at home is Sony's. Oh, mm, 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 mm. If you ever see on where Shawnee's was, and you went down mm, 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 for their breakfast, oh, Jesus, take the wheel. We used to live right by when we was in Memphis, and Pooh Stack loved it. We used to go down on different days of the week, or some days of the week they have steak night and kids <laughs> night. Gucci, shut up. I'm doing the video. Shut up. Um, well, we used to go there several times a night. I mean, a week. Mm-hmm. I love Sony's. Baby, they had the best business in the world. They really do. 
Look like that be so good. When they come out fresh, you just take you two of them and put them in that little bowl they got. And then take that syrup and just drizzle it all over it so it's, it's syrup built up in the bowl around the biscuits and stuff. They take you up. Hey! Hey, glory. It'll take you a fork, baby. Eat, oh, glory. I can't hold it. Look, I just got y'all. Here, where we are in Georgia. This is no lie. Me and my family have got up before and driven. It takes us how long to get to this show? About an hour? About an hour, hour and 10 minutes. And driven an hour, hour and 10 minutes to go and have Shawnee's breakfast. We've done it. Pussy loves it. Oh, oh, y'all. Mmm. Mm hmm. She loves Shawnee's breakfast. Mmm. -hmm. I had the best bacon. Oh, I just love Shawnee's breakfast. It's good. But. It really, mmm, mmm, mmm. It's just a suitable alternative to this, because this is what I really want. Mm-hmm. Now, y'all, some of this I want to talk about right quick. Yesterday, mmm, 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 mmm. Like, we got it was storming here the night before. It was so bad because the lights was, you know, like went off. And I realized, y'all, during that time, that our home is not ready for like a storm. You know what I mean? Uh, food wise, water wise, that kind of stuff. Yeah. But I'm talking about, do y'all check your house to make sure you got candles and uh, flashlights and batteries in your flashlights and batteries for this and battery for this and for this kind of stuff. You know, <coughs> y'all Gucci just want to be in the video. Jesus, take the wheel. Mmm. <laughs> get water. No, it's good today. You know what? I just thought about y'all. Just like COVID. You never really check your home and what I don't. I never have. Now, I do for COVID now. I stay on top of that, baby. We ain't been about short, no toilet paper, no sanitizer, no lights all sprayed. And if we do, baby, it's on the list and we're going to get dead. You know what I'm saying? That kind of stuff. But I'm saying just like essential things for whatever goes on. You know? Like a small generator. You know what I'm saying? That that would power things. Your cell phones, different stuff like, stuff like that. I know you got your bill for them, but the other night just kind of made me think about we're not ready for nothing like that. You know, like a lot of my friend in Texas said that, you know, in Houston, I know she's in Dallas, but I know it happened in Houston too because, uh, you know, I know you love shine. But like they were without power for like a week. You know what I'm saying? We'd be scrambling, you know, trying to get stuff together. Mmm. Mmm. You know, candles and stuff. We got a few here and there, you know, decorative candles and stuff, but it just made me think about, you know, if something was to truly come through here and happen, we wouldn't be ready. I got to start inventory and things. Mmm. You know, because Mother Nature gonna happen, honey. Mm-hmm. Well, she gonna happen. But it just made me think about, you know, if something really went down. Because at this very moment right now, I can tell you where there was one flashlight in my house. There's one in my truck. I know that. But do we even have any flashlights in here? We don't have any flashlights in our house. <laughs> you know, mm. it kind of make me think about my life. You know, if I could overlook being weather ready and being efficiently ready that me and my family could, you know, make it through anything, just such as something as small as flashlight, what am I missing when it comes to my soul? What corner of there am I not 
investigating properly to give it to God to try to make it better. But see, me as a person, literal things in my life make me think about every aspect of my life. That's the person I am. You know, my brain won't sit down. It won't stop thinking. Mine is more internal. I have a close, close friend that his brain is more external. Like he thinks about and checks into and looks into and digs into and investigates into and everything. A lot of things are not external. Now I'm more internal, you know. And I want to say something else to y'all. You know something? I have had a lot of people in my life over the years that I have thought, claimed, not necessarily claimed, well, in my earlier age, but I have had a lot of people in my life that I have allowed to be close to me in ways that now I wish I had though, but I just thank God for those that he has chosen to put in my life that stuck. You know what I'm saying? That was generally supposed to be in my life because it was his plan. I'm just I'm just genuinely thankful for that. I'm surrounded around some good, genuine, wholesome people. I truly care for me. That don't care that care for me doesn't always mean that they have to agree with me. Um, or agree with the things that I choose to do in my life. That know that sometimes a friend, mm, excuse me, I thought it. I might cut that out. <laughs> that being a friend to me doesn't always mean co signing with things for me that aren't good for me. Yeah, whether it be a conversation, whether it be food, whether it be just whatever, I'm just somebody in life. I guess you say, my lips, how the lights went off, you didn't have no flashlight to get you on this. But it did. Mm hmm. For each thing in life that I go through that makes me feel like I'm inadequate, it makes me also mm, be thankful. For the parts of my life where I am adequate. It really does. I'm just so thankful to God to be living. To be able to honor, love, and praise him on a daily basis. God is so awesome. He just is. He's just so awesome. And sometimes I sit down here, y'all, and I will cry. Sometimes I really will. I will get in my feelings so much about God, I will cry uh, to the point that I just feel so honored that he chose me. That he chose me to be one of his children. He chose me to be created in his image. He chose me to be the caretaker of my daughter. He chose me to be the caretaker of my husband's heart. That he chose me to be a friend to my friends. You know what I mean? I just be so thankful. I really do. I be so thankful. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because he didn't have to choose me for that. He didn't. He didn't have to entrust me mm. to be Pooh Saint's father. He didn't have to entrust me to be a production husband. Those are the things he trusted me with. I mean, I'm just so thankful. I mean, am I where I want to be in life? Surely not. Mm -mm. I wish I was further along, y'all, where I could be sitting in Tahiti somewhere, drinking, with them little drink with the little, the love, with the love, umbrellas in them all the time. Mm-hmm. With nothing to worry about. But I'm thankful for where I am. I'm so thankful. Mm-hmm.
Mm. I'm so thankful, y'all. I just so thankful. And I would not dare miss a day. Mm. Without well, telling the Lord, thank you. Mm. Y'all just ends be so good. Mm. I just love my ends. Mm. Mm-hmm. Now I hope you guys have gotten up. Mm. Mm. And your Sunday has gotten started. Mm. 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 And it's a lovely day. I do. Mm. Mm. If you feel not right, get up and cook your family something today. Mm-hmm. Last time I told y'all do that on Sunday evening. Tangent Free Mount, my friend from Monroe, she called me. She said, We're doing just what you said, huh? <laughs> we are cooking. So get up, y'all. Put a little stuff on the stove. Mm hmm. And rejoice and think about the Lord and tell Him thank you while it's cooking. If you ain't got nothing to say, thank you for it, but just thank you that I'm breathing and thank you that I got food to cook. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Y'all get up and take a little one after eat. Mm-hmm. Mm. mm. Y'all know I'm, I'm over for turning them pots on, honey. You know I'm over that child. That's what I want you to do. Get up and turn them pots on. I'm gonna get some dinner rolls, honey. Mm-hmm. I think I went with some greens this afternoon, y'all. Since I done got up and got y'all this breakfast together. I think I want some greens this afternoon. I do. I think I want a pot of green. And believe it or not, I want some. Mm. Mm. I want, to be honest with you, I want some uh, uh, turkey tails. Oh, I got a taste for some turkey tails. I'm going to find out some turkey tails. We're going to have some turkey tails on the show for a long time. Watch. Mm -hmm. I'm going to find out some turkey tails, y'all. I got a taste for some. Mm-hmm. And, and y'all, I'm saying something else too. I got a taste for I was talking to somebody on the phone yesterday and I brought it up. I'm going to tell you something else I, I got a taste for y'all. I want us some liver and gravy and rice. Mm-hmm. I got a taste for some liver too. Yep. I got to find us some. But anyway, I'm going to get on out of here today, y'all. I'm going to get on out of here today, y'all. I just came back to share my breakfast with you and uh, get you started and everything on Sunday. Because by the time you get this video, it ain't be too late to cook if you want to cook. It ain't be too late. And that are, um, just to let you know, y'all, take the time in the day, in every day, to tell the Lord thank you. Now, like I told you before, I don't care what position you're in. I don't care where you're at. I don't care where you live. I don't care what you're living in. I don't care what's going on. Things could always be worse. And I sit back and I say to myself, Lord, I thank you. I do. I thank him for the things that he's entrusted me with. I do. I thank him for entrusting me to be the son of a great mother that he's brought on home with him. A great father that he done took on home to glory. I, I thank him for entrusting me of being Bubby's great uncle. You know, I hold those things to be honors. You know, to be my niece and nephew's uncle. To be my brother's brother. My sister's brother. You know, I just thank God for all that he has trusted me with in my life. You know, even trusting me for you to give me, for you to be here to witness my life and carry on and me sit up here and smack and eat this food and, and, and have a good time and pray for you and you pray for me and we go through hardships and stuff together. Um, I thank God for that. I do. That he trusted me with that. I really, really do, y'all. It's something to think about. Because you just come here by proxy in hell and just dropped in your situation because of the fact that um, you was who you are. Whatever situation you in, God trusted you to be in that situation because he needed you to do some work out. And then it's such an honor from such an all-powerful man. Hey! Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to go. Because uh, we got things to do. I think Pooh said she going to the pool and her hair got to be combed and things and stuff. And all it is. And I don't know. Uh, you know the housewives come on that hand. 
So I got to get on, you know, get jiggy with it in my day, honey, because the housewives is coming on. Hey, the housewives is coming on. Anyway, y'all better go. I love y'all. I love y'all. I hope you enjoy. Y'all, this is my favorite breakfast in the world. It really, really is. Smothered chicken wings. They can be legs, but I prefer wings. Smothered chicken wings with rice and sugar and some scrambled eggs. And some biscuits. I really gotta have the bacon. The bacon is an extra mm -hmm, on top of it. It's extra love. Mm -hmm, it is. Uh, Cause I love bacon. But anyway, y'all, I love y'all. I love you. I love you. Love you. I love each and every one of you guys. I'm so thankful that you guys are here. I really, really am. Don't forget, y'all. Get the Lord a little praise today. Let him know that you love him. Tell him that you're thankful for the position that he's put you in in your life. And like I said, even though there's things that we all are striving for and we all are trying to get to, we all are. And, I, and we will be until the day that we leave this earth. We all will be. So, like I said, don't be ashamed. Keep your head up for what years in life and know where you're trying to go. Ask God for his help and let him lead you there. I love you guys so much. I truly do. And I'm finna get up out of here. To all my new legion. I love you guys so, so much. I truly, truly do. Because you did not have to be here. You could have chose to be into what else in the world, but you chose to be right here with us. And we love you for it. Mm -hmm. To all my existing legion. Hey, round and round we go. Round and round we go. I love you guys so, so much. I love you guys so, so much. I do. I love y'all so, so much. And I'm going to see you guys next time, okay? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys look, always remember that there's always more than one way home. All you still have to do is get there. So get there, people. Get there. I love you all. And I'm going to see you guys win next time. And if you're not even watching me next time, you have lied to me. And I know you lied. Here we go. <laughs> bye bye. Woo! How y'all doing? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Y'all, it is a beautiful day outside today. I took um, Gucci for a little walk this morning. Um, but I was taking him for a walk. It helps me, you know, do a little exercise that I can do. And um, it was a beautiful day. And for some reason today, all of my neighbors, everybody, like, spoke. They did. Um, generally, when I leave out, um, you know, and take Gucci for a walk, I may see one um, or two as I'm passing by other people's homes or something, you know, in the community that we live in. Um, but today, it was, it seemed like it was a day for everybody. It is beautiful out there, though. It's a beautiful day out there. But it seemed like everybody and their grandma. As a matter of fact, I did see one old elder lady by in her 80s. This seemed to be. She had to be. In her 80s, they were walking her dog uh, and everything. Like, everybody was walking their dog today. And everybody was speaking, you know. Like, it was a very light day today. Everybody was, hey, how you doing? You know, good afternoon or good morning. And uh, like I said, that's normally not me. I'm, I normally, you know. But everybody spoke. And I found myself in a position to where it was like God was trying to tell me, get out of your way. You know, because I'm telling you this, like, I, if I went past one person a day, I went past 12. And that's not normal. Um, it's just not normal. People generally in our community stay to themselves. And, um, you know, but today, it was like God was trying to tell me, get out of your way. Get out of your way. You know? And um, so I spoke to everybody, and I felt light when I came home. Uh, or lighter, or anyway. Um, and I thank God for even that. I don't know how long it's going to last. <laughs> I don't. Uh, uh, because I'm just not a neighborly person, but I felt good about it. I did. I felt good about it. Uh, even the younger people were speaking. Hey, you know. I'm sure they see me often, um, you know, because I you know, so I be out there walking Gucci. Uh, but um, today just felt a little different. Maybe a change came about within me today. You know? I'm going to try to ride on it. What that song say? Ride, Teddy, ride, ride, somebody ride, ride, Jenny, ride, ride. Who was it? Ride, who the ride? I don't know who it was. Y'all know that song, Ride, Teddy, ride. Is it Teddy? It ain't Teddy, is it? It probably ain't Teddy. Anyway, y'all. I'm pretty off. Love y'all. Don't forget, God can give you all things in the world. It's up to you to accept them, claim them. It's up to you to claim those blessings. They for you, can't nobody else get them no way. They can't get them no way. But you got to be able to receive God's love. Feel it. Understand it. Okay. Now I'm going to go for real. Bye-bye.